That's Frank Darris, America's top insurance attorney. Here's the scenario, Frank. I owned a condo in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, that was insured by Nationwide Insurance Company. There were several hurricanes that made landfall. Four of those hurricanes made landfall in Florida. But it's a long way from North Myrtle Beach. A long way. Like 800 miles. Nonetheless, about two weeks after that hurricane hit, I got a Dear John letter from Nationwide Insurance Company saying, Dear Mr. Posick, we're informing you that effective immediately, we are canceling your insurance on your condo. And I first called the agent. He said, gee, I'm sorry, Gary, but there's nothing I can do. I mean, uh, we're within our legal limits to do so. And I called the insurance commission. And they said, well, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, they are within their legal limits to do so, even though there were no claimants in South Carolina. Uh, they they reached their limit in terms of the amount of claimants they were going to have for the calendar year. So, yeah, they're within their rights to claim to uh, cancel anybody they want. And you're among them. Those are the kinds of things you think you got insurance. You think you're covered. You, you, I didn't do anything wrong. I just owned a piece of property that was in the her, the possibility of a hurricane it got canceled by a major company. Not unusual. You know, we, we've had our share of earthquakes out here in California. And, you know, despite carriers charging a premium for earthquake coverage and going years and years and years without any major losses, in 94 we had the Northridge earthquake, which, you know, created uh, a quite extensive damage. And we had carriers run carriers that had been here for years and years and had stockpiled and invested our premiums and had a surplus that could balance the the national budget five times and still ran. Um, They came back. They they came back within, you know, three or four years with some catchy marketing uh, phrases. You know, you mentioned nationwide is on your side, and we've all seen those, the good hands people and, you know, all, all the rest. And they came back. You know, the point is we need coverage. Sometimes our in-state carriers run, and we've got out-of-state carriers that look at it and say, you know what, we're willing to accept the risk. Uh, we're national. We're going to have states that aren't in Hurricane Alley that we can boost our premiums a little bit. And, and so it's important that we find coverage when we get those things and we be proactive. Your insurance commissioner in your state, I promise, if enough Gary Posicks called the insurance commissioner and expressed their outrage at a carrier that had made billions of dollars on the backs of South Carolina policyholders, that's a carrier that when they come back to the state of South Carolina, that you hope they put the rack and screws to them and they make them jump through every legal hoop that's necessary and you hope our South Carolina jurors, when they get an opportunity to look at a situation where a carrier acts unreasonably or a carrier denies without proper cause, that they remember that poor policyholder paid premiums for peace of mind and, and security. And we're all entitled to prompt, fair, good faith claim handling, and we're not expected to to fight a billion-dollar corporation. they got lawyers. They're professional litigants. You know, people need help when disaster strikes. The forms are confusing. The process is designed to beat you up and wear you down and and starve you out. And they know you'll take less because you want to move on and you want to move past it. And, you know, you look at those bills every month. I tell people, hey, take a look at that premium and look at what you're being charged. What are all those surcharges and excises and this and that? You know, those are the kinds of things that they slip by. And, you know, Adlai Stevenson said, a million here, a million there, pretty soon it starts to add up. Well, you know, $13 here and $13 there times a million policyholders, uh, it's a good, it's a good racket to get in. So be aware, folks. You know, that your insurance agent 
and your insurance broker who's placed that insurance for you is supposed to be meeting with you once a year to evaluate what you have, what you need, and what 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 more protection that you should have. They're earning a commission on that policy that you're renewing every year. So let's encourage our agents and brokers and, and our policyholders to take advantage of that. You know, we've got good, honest, forthright agents that are out there trying to do the right thing, and they need information from us. They need to know what we need, and we need to be more involved as, as consumers so we can protect our family. That's why we work so hard. 